What's up my beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back. It's your girl Wildflower Tea and I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Today my friends we are not only going to be watching the new trailer for season 17 of Sister Wives but we're also going to be talking about it. For those of you who do not know the new season will be airing on September 11th and you can find all the information in the description below. If you're anything like me you have been patiently waiting for this trailer to release especially after the way 16 ended with all the dramaticals. I am very interested to see how this family dynamic is going to be now that Christine is out of the picture and according to this trailer y'all it seems like Janelle might not be too far behind. We're going to get into all of that but before we do if you will please give this video a big thumbs up and if you would like to stay in the loop with all the sister wives tea go ahead and smash the subscribe button and tap the bell for post notifications that way you are notified when videos just like this one get uploaded on my channel As some of you may know, when it comes to reality TV shows, new seasons are usually at least six months delayed. So everything you're seeing is at least six months old. But when it comes to Sister Wives, y'all, this show is way, way behind. Everything that we're gonna be seeing in season 17 is at least a year old. But personally, I am still extremely interested in seeing how the family dynamic is today, how they're operating as a family, and most importantly, if they're gonna show Christine and how she's transitioning on her own. If you guys want to see this full trailer without my commentary, again, that will also be in the description below because I am going to be stopping this between and talking about it. I also want to go over the description for episode one, which is pretty telling as well. There's some strange things happening between Cody and Christine right now. I'm just supposed to stay out of it. I feel like to Cody, Robin's more important. It's been heartbreaking being your wife for years. Y'all, the fact that this trailer opens up with Robin saying, oh, Christine and Cody are having issues and I should just stay out of it. The problem is, is your relationship with Cody is what has created the issues with the other sister wives. And that's something that, in my opinion, Robin should have stepped in a long time ago if she truly cared the way she says she does. She would have made more of an effort to validate the way all of the sister wives were feeling when it came to her and Cody's relationship. Instead of trying to make it out like they had no reason to feel that way. I mean, come on, we're all watching this show and it's very obvious who the favorite is here. And don't get me wrong, this doesn't fall all on Robin. Cody is even more at fault than she is. The fact that he didn't put more effort into showing the other sister wives that he cared about them and loved them equally, that was the biggest problem of them all. This is exactly why, in my opinion, you're only supposed to have one husband, one wife, because let's face it, there's no way in God's green earth that you could show the same equal amount of love, affection, attention, everything that a relationship entails with multiple partners. And that, my friends, is unfair to the partner who is settling, miserable, unhappy, and feels unwanted. I have decided to leave. I'm going to leave Cody that Christine was more than a sister wife. I felt like that she was a friend for a lot of years. I'm sure she was her best friend. Christine was the one that did everything for everybody, raising the children, cooking, cleaning, taking care of the house. What was it she called herself? The basement wife? Christine cried out for help for years and no one seemed to care. But of course, now that Christine has finally hit her breaking point and is actually leaving, all of a sudden you're going to be heartbroken? That's just a pinch of how Christine has felt for years. I don't think you and I know how to be real about things with each other. He's no longer acting as my husband here. I've gone 18 months being persecuted by my own family for trying to protect them. My heart is broken. Newsflash, Cody, you're not the only one hurting. And you dang sure ain't the only one who has sacrificed so much to try to keep this family together. But I guess within their belief system, how the man feels is the only thing that's supposed to matter. I'm sorry, but that's something I'll never be able to comprehend. I'm not ready for Christine to leave. Hang on with me, okay? I am. We have to rebuild. 
Y'all, Robin is something else. She is gung-ho and ready to replace Christine, and Christine hasn't even got her boxes in the car yet. Bless her heart, it is so obvious that she could care less about Christine. And furthermore, for her to selfishly be asking Mary to just hang on and hang in with her. When Mary was kicked to the curb years ago, y'all, Robin is a whole ass problem. I agreed to be a sister wife, but I agreed to be an equal wife. I will never say that the problem is plural marriage. Mary, honey, you ain't gotta say it. We all see it. <laughs> I'm not really sure we have a family anymore. I would never do anything to this family to hurt it. I just wish that people could see that. Okay, but wait, <laughs> riddle me this. How is any of us supposed to see that Robin doesn't want to hurt the family or has ever had intentions of hurting the family when literally all she's done since she's been a part of the family is hurt someone. Make that make sense. The message that we had to the world about functional polygamy seems so dysfunctional now. I never tried to have a really good relationship with these other people. And that's the reason I'm pissed off. Man! Just the knife in the kidneys over all these years. The sacrifices that I made to love you. And that, my friends, is the cherry on top of the whole dang thing. Cody said, the sacrifices I made to love you. Well, ain't that every girl's dream to be told something like that? I've literally never heard someone say that about someone that they love. You could say, I've made a lot of sacrifices because I love you. But to say, the sacrifices I've made to love you, he's making it out like he's given up so much so that he could try and love Christine. And after all of these years, man, that is just the biggest slap in the face to her. She is the one that sacrificed so much for that whole family. And just hearing Cody say this makes me even more happy about the fact that Christine left that family. It's not okay to be treated like that. I don't care what your religious beliefs are. It's so messed up to say that to someone. In my opinion, that is so freaking abusive. And she dang sure is not the problem with that family period. Now you are able to read the description for episode one. Now I will once again link that below as well if you guys want to go read it for yourself. But it states that Janelle is going to test positive for COVID. But here's the real kicker. It says Cody confides in Robin about his troubles with Christine. Then Cody and Christine sit down to have a tense discussion about the future of their marriage, which leaves Christine feeling empowered and Cody defeated. Y'all, I am ready for it. Christine deserves to feel empowerment, okay? And your girl will definitely be tuning in. What about you guys? Are you excited for the new season? If so, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. I can already tell that this one is gonna be a doozy. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by hitting the like button. And if you wanna stay in the loop with this family and so much more reality tea, please go ahead and subscribe and tap the bell for post notifications that way youtube notifies you when i do upload i appreciate all of you to the moon and stars and until my next one bye y'all